Well, hello, everybody. I'm coming on here today to tell everybody about some breaking news for us Wyoming Knights, those of us who grew up in the West and uh, in Wyoming in particular, because today our former senator, long time serving senator, Mike Enzi, has passed away. Well, I think he passed away late last night or yesterday um, from his injuries that he sustained during a cycling accident. He was riding his bike uh, and basically fell, uh, as far as I understand it, and uh, broke some bones and uh, he died. So let me just show you the article that is uh, describing this event. And then I want to get into who was Mike Enzi, why is this so important, or not important, but you know, significant. Uh, what kind of legacy did he leave behind for my state, my home state, and for the country at large? Spoiler alert, not a great legacy. Let me just show you this. Okay, so here we have recently retired Senator Mike Enzi of Wyoming dies at 77 after a bicycle accident. Um, Mike Enzi died peacefully Monday, surrounded by friends in, uh, let's see. Today. today's yeah so yesterday mike had been hospitalized with a broken neck and ribs three days after a bicycle accident near gillette so he was riding his bike uh, and fell looks like uh, around 8 p.m on friday um and the police just found him laying on the ground, basically unconscious. Um, and then he was in the hospital for a few days and then passed away from his injuries. So that's fucking brutal, man. I mean, broke your neck and ribs. Jesus, what a way to go down. So, of course, I'm not really one to revel in the deaths of anybody that I disagree with. Uh, it's obviously horrible that he died like that. But uh, I don't agree with Mike Enzi on basically anything. And so let's talk about that. Uh, what kind of politician was he? I'm just going to show you his Wikipedia page because I don't really want to pull up a million different articles and stuff like that. But this is going to give you a pretty good gist of what he's all about. I mean, you can read this for yourself. You don't need me here for it. But being from Wyoming, Mike Enzi was closely tied to the fossil fuel industry. He received a massive amount of money from the fossil fuel industry uh, to uh, win his campaigns. But I mean, he, he also won re-election easily every single time he ran, but he only recently uh, decided to, to stop running for re-election. Mike Enzi um, was basically just straight down the line, a uh, hard right winger. He was a big supporter of the military war in Iraq, um, along with our other legendary um, politician from Wyoming, Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney, huge warmongers, um, totally corrupt. I mean, like, like terrible. I mean, there were partners in crime on that, basically voted and upheld the Patriot Act, which of course constituted, you know, all the illegal spying that's going on right now. Um, some terrible, terrible policies here. I mean, he supported partial privatization of social security. Seriously? Like at a time when we should be giving everybody just money, free money. Um, he wanted to, I don't even know how he would do that privatization of social security like you hire a company to to give you money sometime when you retire uh, that, that's probably what it is so some people could profit off uh wanting to have some money uh, when they stop working when they can't work anymore and probably means test it uh so that, you know if you smoke weed you're not allowed to get your social security money that's probably that's what he supported uh voted against measures to expand medicare and to enroll more children or lower class individuals into public health care Really, really, bro. He didn't want little kids to get free health care because they didn't work hard enough, I guess. Um, 
speaking of health care, he was obviously a staunch opponent, staunch opponent of Barack Obama's health care re- legislation, which it was already watered down. Anyway, it was already a giveaway to the private health care industries, because basically, if you remember, that mandated that private companies um, provide health care through private industry to their employees over a certain amount of uh, empl- uh, employees working at the company. Um, so basically just strengthen the stranglehold that private co- corporations have on our healthcare system, uh, which is obviously a right-wing position, but these guys were opposed to it. And he was part of this uh, gang of six senators working to find a quote unquote bipartisan solution to healthcare reform. And I love this. We all want healthcare reform that will reduce costs, improve quality and expand access without breaking the bank. Um, that would be Medicare for all, obviously, because um, <laughs> improved quality, will, will you pay two times as much for healthcare in this country as other industrialized nations and we have worse outcomes? Uh, so that would save us money, clearly. It would save us trillions of dollars. It wouldn't break the bank. Uh, and it would expand access because everyone would get it. So you support Medicare for all, right? No, of course you didn't. Um, He was also one of 22 senators to sign a letter to President Donald Trump urging the president to have the United States withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. Wow. Something that should have never happened, obviously. So not only was Mike Enzi closely tied with the coal industry and the oil industry having, you know, you know, there being a giant strip mine in Gillette and all that. Um, but he also, you know, wanted to withdraw from all of the slightly positive things that we had already done for the climate. And of course, the Paris Climate Agreement was only sort of symbolic and optional for all of the countries that signed on to it, including ourselves. So it didn't do anything. It, people are breaking their their commitments and it didn't go far enough. And now we're passing these checkpoints where we can't go back. And there's this like uh, this endless like positive feedback loop where we're not going to be able to stop the climate catastrophe from coming on. Um, so this guy was directly linked to these policies. And of course he didn't have to uh, bear the consequences of these policies because now he's dead. And for those of us who are going to live to see 2040, 2050, um, we're in fucking trouble because of people like this. So that's the legacy. Part of the legacy of Mike Enzi. There was a lot of other stuff I didn't talk about. But I just want to come on here and let everybody know my thoughts, how I feel about it. Hopefully, one day, Wyoming will have people that actually represent the best interests of the people living here uh, and the people that live in this country in general. But that's currently not the case. We've got Cynthia Lummis. We've got Liz Cheney. We've got John Barrasso. And I've got a whole other story about John Barrasso that I want to get into at some other later date. Uh, which has to do with the um, 2018 re-election of John Barrasso. But that is a story for another time. So with that being said, the Progressive West, Solomon, signing off.